Alright, so you guys wanted a guide, so I guess I'm here to deliver. I'll leave timestamps uh, in the description for sections of the video. So, for example, if you want to go directly to the combos, you can instantly go to the combos. So, I hope this helps you. So, we're gonna start with the perks first. Uh, before we get started, here's my controls, because uh, a lot of people want to know. Uh, be remember, this is up to preference, so you don't need to copy me, but this is what I like to use. I like to use a uh, jump with triangle and stuff like that, because I'm just used to the smash. And I use D-pad to uh, for movement, because I like getting more precise inputs with my... With my left, right, down, up. Because, like, there's no, like, slow walking, right? So, it's all it's all always the one speed of walking. You can't, like, slow walk. You can't run. You can speed up by dodging, though. So, like, having on D-pad doesn't make it much of a difference from stick. Also, having X as neutral attack is very, very important. Because, uh, his combos involve his neutral attacks a lot. Also, before I cover the perks, this guide is mainly focusing on 1v1s so don't uh expect much 2v2 coverage in here some of it will still apply to 2v2 like doing combos like this but if uh if you're looking specifically for 2v2 uh, like perks and stuff like that uh i'm not gonna cover that because that mostly depends on your teammate because like why would you run a projectile perk when you have a superman for example so bugs's best perks like He's a very versatile character, kind of like a hybrid projectile and melee focused character because his normals are insane, whilst his projectiles are also insane. So honestly, whatever perk you go with, like it, it probably works anyways. If I were to give my own suggestions for the signature, I would personally go with uh, li Lingering Love myself. Just because I like having the kiss just stay there and like guard off that entire section of the map whilst you're like edge guarding, you can combo them into it. Yeah, I can I can do an example. You just combo them into it, then you can start a combo. Something simple like that. Just that kind of utility with the kiss, because without the perk, this ability becomes basically useless. Uh, so like you kiss. That, like, only comes out for, like, that frame. Coming True Doc is good, don't get me wrong. Like, being able to, like, cover options just by doing, like, I don't know, like, if you want to... If you want to keep doing, like, loops or something, like, you, you want to keep running back and forth eh, through your rabbit hole and not be punished for, like, coming back and forth just by doing this. And even, like, just as a mind game, just having it on the field making your opponent scared of standing over here or else like a hit like this. And I'm pretty sure you can combo off of it if you react fast enough. Yeah, so it does have its uses, but I prefer Lingering Love myself just to make this move actually be something. Cause I myself prefer using Rabbit Hole as a, as a tool for projectiles. Like, uh, like I prefer sending the safe through it, uh, the rocket to edge guard. Hi. Simple stuff like that just makes me prefer Lingering Love. Then the other perks, I run Coffeezilla for uh, faster cooldowns because Bugs has a lot of cooldowns. He has like seven cooldowns if you're running ling Lingering Love. So like he has two pies, uh, safe, rocket, tunnel, kiss, box. That's seven cooldowns, because there's two pies and then the rest of them. Which is kind of a lot. So having Coffeezilla is kind of important. Uh, there's also I dodge, you dodge, we dodge, which I also use. The good thing about I dodge, you dodge, we dodge is... Uh, so whenever you dodge something, it counts towards your cooldowns. So the good thing about it is Luster and Rabbit Hole, it counts as dodging. So you can actually get your cooldowns faster just by being in the Rabbit Hole. And of course, it's like dodging the enemy. You, you get your cooldowns faster. So I prefer, I, I do use these two. And then for the, the projectile perk, this one, the third one, you can basically make it whatever you want. Uh, these two are kind of important, but 
Except for, I guess, I dodge, you dodge, we dodge. That, this is still very much, this is very much up to preference, so. But I like using uh, Ice to beat you because of uh, the slow it gives. You don't realize how much this slows you. Like, it, the, the Ice perk, uh, it really does make a difference whilst you're trying to play. Because, like, if I'm, like, if I hit, get hit by bugs, and then I, he, he's gonna try rush me. I can't dodge very well, like, because of the slow the ice gives me, or if I'm trying to run away. So I like using ice to beat you to keep pressure on. People also like to use Lumpy Space Punch, but the weird thing about Lumpy Space Punch is, uh, I'll show you an example. So I'm gonna do down air to air. Right? 18, 18 damage. But if I take this off, then still 18 damage. So I'm not sure if it's just a, a training mode thing, but it does make them, it doesn't seem like it doesn't make a difference right now. His jab is a little twirly punch and then a big punch. Now the big punch at the end, uh, I basically never use it. But the, the first part, this breaks armor so it's good to like poke uh, characters like Superman or Wonder Woman because usually when they are on the ground they'll be charging those armored attacks or like and then like try dodge if you try to hit them. So throwing this lingering armor breaking attack can can mess them up and if you land it you can combo a lot off of it so you can do up smash or up ground attack you can do forward air you can do there you can do a lot of things by just landing jab so this move is very good it, it looks slow but like you can you can jump out of it so you you're, you don't get really punished for throwing this out unless you know your opponent is like behind you or something next is mallet where he swings it so this moves hitbox is kind of crazy because it hits in front and it hits behind and it hits above as well so if I want to hit him from behind, oops, that's wrong word. Hit from behind. You can see there, I hit from behind. So covering at the ledge with this move is kind of crazy. And also a good thing about this move is like, it, this this applies to every grounded attack that that can charge. You can jump out or dodge out of the charge. Next is his up ground attack, where it's just a kick. It's also a charge, so you can jump to cancel it if you feel like it's not going to land. So, you can, uh, off of jab, I've shown already, you can combo jab into up smash, or up ground attack. And this actually sets up some combos. So, for example, you can do up ground attack to dare, up ground attack to up air. But the fact you can combo out of it and stuff, and cancel out of it, and it's also really fast, uh, it's pretty good. Now the Pai is a very different move from the rest of the cast because the rest of the cast just have like a low sweeping attack or like a spike attack but Bugs takes out a Pai and when you do this you cannot down air anymore so keep that in mind but it, the Pai is a really really good projectile because look at how much it lingers and if you have it out uh, you can hit it around and no matter what, it will not despawn. Unless it hits someone, of course. Or, like, goes off to hit Blast Zone. If you hit it upwards, it'll come back down. Uh, if you hit it down, you can set up edge guards. If you hit it with forward air, you can cover high, whilst you cover low. So the Pi is very, very, like, useful. It's very versatile. And when you hit someone with Pi, it slows them down. And the reason why I like Ice Projectile so much is because it also stacks with the slow. The, the cooldowns aren't too lengthy, but still, be wary of them. But like, the fact that you can knock them down and knock them around, they're very, they're very, very strong. And when you hit someone, you can react and do a combo. His aerials, up air, down air, forward air, and nair, busted. Ridiculous moves. So keep in mind, if you have pie out, you cannot down air. So don't try like, Go for spikes when you have uh, the pie out. 
be sure to throw the pie out and then down air it so you can angle it down and then you can follow it up. But yeah, uh, this down air, it's standard. Smack him down. It's fast. It has a hitbox above it. Wait. See? It, the hitbox is generous. It's it's in front and above and kind of below. It, it doesn't go much further below him, below Bug, so you can still get like up air juggled and stuff. You can't just mash this move to get out for free. But it is a good move, and it's really good for edge guarding because you kind of stay in the air for really long. You can also combo out of it if people land on the floor. Next, I'll cover his forward air. It's like a kick out. This move, the hitbox is huge. Standing here, probably gonna hit the Shaggy. Yeah. It, it's it, and you can move whilst doing this move, so it it covers a lot of space. So use this move a lot when in neutral if you don't have any projectiles because it walls out enemies. I like to use this move with right stick if I'm trying to run away so I can do retreating forwarders. It, it pushes enemies back, it has good knockback, and you can edge guard really well with it because it kind of lingers. So if I did it from up here, I'm going to still land the move. See? It, it's, it's a pretty ridiculous move. So next is his up air. This move kills really, really well. The hitbox is huge, and also, don't worry, this is made after the nerf, quote unquote, and this nerf means basically nothing. This move is still ridiculous. I mean, just, like, I can stand here. Oops, wait. I can just stand here. I'll still hit Shaggy. This move is beyond ridiculous. It comes out quick, it's basically unpunishable, the hitbox is huge, it kills dummy early. You can combo uh, into it, but you cannot combo with it. So I guess that's one weakness of the move, but like, it's not enough. So yeah, there's not much to this move, but the fact it does so much just by swinging without even having to charge it up to kill. And you can just keep juggling forever because of this hitbox. This move is probably Bugs' is, of Bugs is like one of the best moves. Next is his Nair. You can basically combo anything into this move where, like, uh... Okay, I barely missed. So... A good thing to combo into up air is, uh, if you do Nair and then dodge jump up air. Because, uh, the speed helps him catch up. Nair combos basically into anything. Combo into Dare. Combo into up air. So, uh, use this move. This is probably Bugs' main combo move. Next are his specials, uh, neutral special. This is probably his best, uh, projectile, because this is super busted. You can knock the safe around and have it linger for ages. You can just snipe with it, and if it breaks, you get a free item. You can, you can keep jabbing it to keep it lingering on stage for ages, and if you want to set up edge group. What the heck? If you want to set up, like, snipes with it, just, like, forward air it. And it, it covers all of that. And, uh, you can also drop the safe instantly if you do it in the air. Because if you do it on the floor, you slap a plaster, which then drops it. But if you want to drop it instantly, just do that. The setup with the safe is, uh, you can drop it, forward air, down air it. Uh, this... You know, it's good to juggle around. It's kind of difficult to do because it's kind of preci precise. But you you can cover, like, a really good angle because of this. But with that angle, you can actually set up an edge guard like this. So when you send the spike down, or the safe down like that, it spikes people. So having that there whilst you're also covering a wall, for example, it... It makes an, an entire hitbox that your uh, opponent has to avoid. It, may, it might take some practice to do this more consistently. But uh, a good fallback to do the to do attacks with the safe, just, just attack it. Or like to keep it on the stage. Side special on the ground is the kiss. It's, it's very bad without the perk, but with the perk it becomes pretty good. His uh, down special, the rabbit hole. If you use this, you go true, and uh, if you you can send projectiles through it, any projectile in the game, I think, except for like maybe Jerry, I'm not sure. 
With the perk, you can use it for offense. Uh, I already covered this, but like you can, you can, you can, you can, you can bully people by just, you know, co constantly doing aerials. The good thing about Rabbit Hole is that when you enter it, you can do an instant aerial. So, uh, forward air, down air, you know. His up special is the rocket. Same as his aerial side special. It's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's good to cover options horizontally. I know a lot of people actually use the rocket just to do this, so you can like uh, cover options and stuff like that. But I like to use it off of uh, combos and stuff, like as a combo finisher, so you can get really early kills. And the good thing about that is uh, if you miss about like uh i don't know 15 seconds or so okay well 10 seconds because once you hear the whistle uh that means it'll take about five seconds before it reaches ground the, the floor so uh once you hear the whistle you can set up some 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 cool combos because uh y once you hear it you you're, you're gonna be the one that sent it up so you should like keep in um keep in mind where you sent that because you can get some really early kills by sending it here and stuff like that and hear the whistle and then just forward there and forward air them so the rocket should land about here you can just combo and get some really really early kills if you're playing bugs have audio on please one two three four see so use use the use the sound effect more not, not enough bugs players use that sound effect because uh, it's very, very useful. So yeah, that's why I use the rocket as a combo finisher instead of like approach option horizontally. I definitely love using the rocket vertically more. Another cool thing about rocket is if you send it up and you hear it coming back down, you can dig rabbit hole and then send it back up. And when you do so, the, the rocket will actually come back down after a certain amount of time. This time without a whistle to like indicate when it's going to reach the floor, but it's still really good to do because that means you can have multiple rockets on your screen at the same time. Like that. And uh, a cool little tech with the rocket, if you do send it horizontally for like recovery or something, if you dig onto it and go to the front, oh well that failed. If you dig onto it and go to the front of it, you can send it horizontal, uh, vertically up instantly, which is called tunnel rocketing. Uh, you can use this to catch people jumping if they're trying to go above your uh, rabbit hole. And you can time this whenever you want once you go to the front. Like, as soon as you press jump, boom. But uh, keep in mind, you can only stay in the rabbit hole for so long before Bugs jumps out on his own. Or just glitches, I guess. Like that. So... You can, it's good. I still prefer using Rocket like this, but it is good to like surprise people if you're recovering or something. And then get like a really early kill. Yeah, you, you can you can cover some high options and then hit them. It's pretty good. You can cheese some people. But if people know that you're do gonna do it, it's pretty easy to spot. Cause like, you know, you have to dig onto it. Plus you're using two of your cooldowns, which is kind of important. Finally, I've covered all of them, but I do have to cover his items. So, Bugs has a passive where he takes out an item after holding down uh, Crouch. He searches his box and gets an item. Or he can get an item by uh, hitting his safe a lot and it breaks and drops an item. There's four items it can drop. There's Me Seek's, what the? There's Me Seek's box, which is what he's eating. There's the sandwich, there's the TV, and there's dynamite. So I'll cover the Meeseeks box since I'm holding it. This is a weird one right now because it's supposed to disappear probably after you throw it like three times maybe. But right now you can throw this projectile as many times as you want. So you can bully people with it. And I'm pretty sure there's no attack decay for it throwing an opponent at, uh, throwing an item at an enemy. And the plus to this is the ice perk. 
So you can see how slow Shaggy is actually really getting because of the ice perk. So I like to abuse the Mystique's box by just throwing it. But if they ever do patch uh, the Mystique's box being thrown forever, you can use the Mystique's box by doing neutral attack and it'll try to Mystique's. It is. The Mystique's it covers a lot of space and it drops down a little. And it kills pretty well, but I, I obviously throw the item more. That, it's much better to just throw the item instead of having Meeseeks come out. The weird thing about the Meeseeks box is that uh, if you even actually use it, then then it breaks after you throw it a certain amount of times. If you don't use it and throw it around, then it doesn't expire. So abuse that, honestly. It, it's pretty overpowered. So if I use it now. And yeah, he'll get hit. And then it disappears. Unlike before. So don't press neutral attack with the Meeseeks box and just keep throwing it. His other item is a TV. Now this the TV can spawn two allies. There's Nectar, who continuously throws pies. Now, I think each pie does like 0.5 damage. So if it lands two pies on an opponent, then it does one damage. Nectar aims that on his own, so he like aims it at the opponent if they're like anywhere. <laughs> the thing about Nectar is that uh, you have to be a certain uh, range for him to shoot. I only found that out now, but I'll say that now. Finally, please. Yes, okay. So the other one is Banana Guard. I spent way too long getting him. With the Banana Guard, he just runs back and forth for like, I don't know, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, somewhere around there. And he cannot be blocked, like he, 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 you can't hit him to knock him back or anything. So like, the opponent kind of has to really respect like dodging and avoiding the Banana Guard. He doesn't kill or anything, but he does 7 damage, so it's alright. Nectar is probably better, but Banana Guard is good for like, controlling. And like, if you get him, you can probably push safely and like, try throw out moves and if you miss or get hit then banana guard can come in and save you his next projectile out of the box is dynamite and this is uh it's pretty standard you just throw it it hits someone the good thing about me seeks and dynamite is that uh when you throw it it'll send them the way you threw the the item so if you threw the me seeks box up then it'll send them up same thing with dynamite send it down Throw it down, then I'll send them down. So it's good to use for like covering options. So like, and oh, I guess not in the air, on the floor, but if you did like this, you send them down. Send, what? Okay, I guess if you're really close to the opponent, then I guess it doesn't do that. Let me try to do it from up here. Oh, okay, so Meeseek's box is a little weird, but the dynamite is, it always sends the way you throw it, like that. The sandwich always sends a certain angle, so uh, if you throw it downwards, unlike the Meeseeks or Dynamite, it'll send them forward. And that's all his uh, items that you can get out of safe and crouch. So now we'll start talking about Bugs' combos. And uh, Bugs' combos, like, because of his Nair and his Jab, they basically link into anything. Well, mostly anything, not really this but it, it would be pointless for me to call out every single move that Bugs' Nair can link into, for example. So I'll just name, like, his really important combos that, like, you should know if you, uh, you know, land a starter. Like, the most optimal routes for getting damage. So to start that off, we'll do a simple, very easy one that's definitely very optimal, which is just... that so you, basically you start off with dare and then there 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 well you don't end with dare there actually no that's still the combo so yes you do should you you do should end with dare because if you do so you can try combo it or follow it up with an up air and the reason I like ending my combos by sending people up 
is because I can set up for the bat. And because the bat is overpowered and you can set up for rocket and stuff like that, you can get very, very early kills. Ending your combos in vertical manners, like, you know, sending them up here, you can just keep juggling them because it's a really good move. If you predict they're gonna go sideways, you can send a rocket like this and then just, you know, swing because, you know, that up air. That's basically Bugs' only really, like, optimal combo that you need to know because the rest of the combos, you can kind of just discover them yourself. Like, like uh, you know you can just, like, you know, hit pie and hit forwarder at the same time and stuff like that, but I guess there's also another one that I guess looks flashy if you feel like it. Uh, I'll, I'll try to do it for as an example. It might take a couple of tries. Which is that. Uh, you don't really need to do that because it... At best, if the up air links and hits the shaggy or like, you know, the enemy, at best, it usually does around, like, 55%, but as you saw with, you know, this combo. You know, the, well, even messing up the end, it already did 54%. So, and it leads up to better, uh, you know, follow-ups. Plus, you don't waste safe, so it's kind of useless to do that safe combo. But, like, if you want to look flashy, go ahead, I guess. Uh, there's, it's also good to, if you are above your enemy and drop safe, you can try do that to do more damage when at higher percents, usually killing as well at even higher percents. So that's good if you get a drop with the safe. Uh, if you land rocket, you can try to link it with up air at like 50%. Yep, that combo exists, which is kind of cool. But yeah, uh, I didn't even know. I, I'm only discovering now that you can still combo Decay down air into up ground attack, which still opens up a lot of combos. So he can kind of go for really long. So you can experiment yourself too and see what kind of routes you can come up with. Because Bugs' combos are really crazy. All right, I hope my guide helped you guys. If there's anything that I didn't answer, I'm, or like, you know, didn't cover, then I'm sorry. I, I probably just gloss over it. Uh, I hope it helped you. If you have any questions or like, you know, have something you, you want to ask, you know, tell me in the comments. I'll try answer. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.